Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm actually filming this video tutorial on vacation live in Paris and you'll have to excuse my voice, the raspiness. I've come down with a little bit of something while traveling and vacationing. Um, everything's great. Everything is a-okay. I'm feeling a lot better. Unfortunately, my voice seems to have, you know, picked up on that. So the show must go on. If you of mine recently requested that I do a video tutorial of Brandy Norwood's makeup on the Ebony June 2012 cover, which was phenomenal by the way. It looked absolutely amazing. Lately Brandy has actually been looking really on point. So when I saw the picture I thought, oh yeah, I can definitely pull that off. And so here we are. Let's get right into this tutorial. So in this look, Brandy has kind of like a um, satiny full coverage foundation. So in order to mimic that same look, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever HD foundation. And to get a more satiny finish, I'm going to mix that up or kind of like dilute it down with some MAC Luster Drops. Another way that you can get a similar effect is by mixing your foundation with a little bit of moisturizer. Um, but the Luster Drops does have a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of shimmer in it. It's going to make it kind of look a little bit more on the, just a tad bit on the dewy side. And it will not, for those that have acid, does not change the color of the foundation at all. It only just changes the finish. So just so you can see the ratio of how much I use, I used about three drops to two squirts of foundation. And I don't really bother to mix it either. I just kind of like let the brush do the mixing on its own. I'm going to use a beauty blender and Fix Plus Spray. Give it about two sprays gently and buff out that foundation so I get an even more so that I get an even more kind of dewy finish and it's gonna help set and lock that makeup in a little bit better. Okay, now I zoomed in a bit so you can see the details of my face and my eyes a little bit better. Next, I'm going to fill in my brows and I'm actually using a brow pencil that has sat in my kit since 2010. I bought this at iMats two years ago. It's called um, Sumita Beauty, Sumita Beauty. And it looks like that. It's pretty comparable to what I'm currently using now, the MAC um, Spike Pencil. I don't know why I just haven't been using it. So I figured today, what the heck, why not give it a shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill those brows in. And voila, sculpted brows. I kind of like this brow pencil. It's a little bit softer than what I normally use as far as color, the shade of brown. But it's cool, it'll do. I mean, <clears throat> I don't dislike it. I'm pretty particular on what I use for my brows, so I would definitely use this product or recommend it or use it again. No, I take that back. I gotta see how this stuff holds up all day. But for now, I. I think it looks pretty good. So next is the extravagant eyeshadow that she's got going on in this look. I'm going to be predominantly working with my Naked Number no. One palette. So if you got that bad boy, go ahead and bring it out. I'm going to prime my eyelid with a bit of concealer. For the eyeshadow base, I'm going to use Groundwork Pigment by MAC. And if you um, don't have Groundwork, or if groundwork is not quite your color, I'm just basically using something that's neutral to my complexion. So in the look, Brandy has kind of like a really shimmery gold on the lid, and then it blends out into a darker, um, a darker charcoal shade on the outer V, and a dark chocolate brown on the crease. Harsh lines, super almost kind of drag queenish. So the first color that I'm going to be working with is half baked from the palette. This one there. The thing about Urban Decay shadows is sometimes you get a lot of fallout. They're super glittery and pigmented. So if you find that it gets a little messy, just give it a few taps before applying it to the eyelid, not to worry. I'm going to take Sidecar Shadow and put a little bit of that on top of that as well. 
I'm basically playing with like yellow golds and then sidecar is a little bit more on the silvery gold side, if that even makes sense. It's a little bit more metallic. I'm just kind of applying a little bit of that on top of it, not really trying to get color payoff. Just want it for the, the shimmer that's in that color. I'm going to take a brown, a dark brown eyeliner. This is Stubborn Brown from MAC. And I'm basically going to start tracing along my crease area because we want that harsh line. Or cut crease as a lot of ladies on YouTube call it. Now this step's gonna vary a little bit, obviously by eye shape. Literally, I'm just following the folds of my eye. The closer that you get to the inner corner, the softer the line is gonna be. So you're gonna basically go from dark on the outer V area to lighter. Right at the end of the, at the, end of the eye. You don't necessarily have to connect it or anything like that. I'm going to leave that as is, and I'm gonna be doing something else with that a little bit later. But for now, take a pencil brush, this is the 219 by MAC and smudge that out. And then with the palette, I'm going to take a dark brown. This is Buck. And I might actually go over that with Buck and Dark Horse. One's a matte. This one's a shimmer. I'm just going to kind of work with both a little bit. And I'm going to apply that in on top of wherever we put those dark brown lines. That's going on top. And take a blending brush. This is the... 222, two, two. well actually one of my favorite blending brushes by MAC. And I'm applying that Dark Horse Shadow and I'm buffing that out. I'm going to go back to that Buck Eyeshadow and around the edges of that color basically on top of it, or actually not on top, but right above it. I'm going to blend that out. Next, take a black liner pencil of choice. I'm going to line the outer corner of my eye. And it, the line is basically going to go from thick to thin as we draw closer to the inner corner of the eye. Don't worry about not having any harsh, perfect lines. I want, I wanted this to look smudgy. On top of that, I'm applying Creep Eyeshadow with a pencil brush. And that eyeshadow is basically gonna connect where we stop that brown. And I'm not really blending it. I'm, I'm just solely blending it on the outer corners. I'm not blending it up into the crease. As you can see, it's mainly just supposed to be heavily concentrated on the outer corner, just blending out those lines. Next, I'm gonna go back to that sidecar eyeshadow and I'm applying a teeny bit, teeny bit in the brow bone for a brow bone highlight. And I'm lining the inner rim of my eyes. I'm going to apply some concealer under eye. I'm using my uh, Camouflage palette by Coastal Scents. Concealer under Brandy's eyes for this look wasn't very heavy, so I'm just kind of doing the basics. She's definitely got this glamorous look going on so I want to make sure that I get really really good coverage out of this concealer. I'm also going to be contouring along the bridge of my nose and I'm dragging that up to my t-zone. Which is now going to be blended out with a sponge and a little fix plus. Voila! Now we've got to put something on top of that to balance that out and bring the color back to my face. 
Now I've got a nice white mask. <laughs> awesome. Keep on buffing, keep on buffing. I'm going to set the top of this look with powder. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark. And I'm just buffing that in. Definitely gonna add a more satiny, glamorous look, just like Brandy's got in the picture. Little to no contour for this look. Um, Brandy's got it really nice and kind of minimal in that aspect, so I'm going to actually be using a bronzer. This is from the CoverGirl Queen Collection, and the shade is Q120. Going to be contouring along the low points of my cheekbones. And my temples. Next, add blush. You can use anything that's got like a soft pink finish. <clears throat> this is actually kind of a coral. This is Terracotta by La Femme. And I'm not going to use too much. Just a little bit to warm the cheeks up. Now that we've added all the powder products, I'm going to go ahead and add mascara. I'm using the Y-Cell. Um, <clears throat> this is new to me, so I'm not even sure what this name is called. Mascara Volume Effect Faux Seals. I'm also adding half lashes on the ends. These are Miss Adoro number 307s. For the bottom lash line, I took Dark Horse Shadow and just blended a little bit of that down there with a thin pencil brush. So we get a nice smoky, smudgy look down there. I'm using a matte cream color base. This is fantastic. And I just took a little bit of that with my finger and I applied that as a cheekbone highlight. Which I actually really like as a cheekbone highlight. I'm now lining my lips with Courant Lip Liner. I then added Girl About Town Lipstick. And there you go, there is the final look.